let's put the Delta wing onto your holster that you have. So here's the package that you should have received from us. Go ahead and just open it up and dump everything out onto your table. You're gonna find at the end of this that you actually have a lot more hardware than you need, but we are in the practice of sending you one extra piece than what you need just in case you drop one on the floor and it goes missing. So dump it all out. Your Delta wing already comes with the highest riser mounted in place. This covers pretty much every gun model out there except for super tiny guns. So if you have a small one, you can go ahead and swap the riser, but this actually works for most models. So you're gonna go ahead and take your existing holster and remove the two screws that are right here under the trigger guard. If you don't have an electric screwdriver, your regular screwdriver will work just great. Most of this hardware you can just uh, set off at a place, you won't be needing it. Go ahead and spread the holster apart, remove the washers and the back binding posts that were attached to the holster. You will want to hold on to your colored washers. If you had colored ones attached to your holster, we include black in the kit, but save those colored ones if you wanna put those back on. First thing you're gonna do is find your binding post. It's the longest post in the bag and you're gonna put two onto the back side of the holster. Again, you're gonna find that there's three in the kit. We send that just in case you drop one. So you're gonna put two binding posts in the back. L glance back at the washer that was already inside your holster and find the one in the kit that is closest to this size. We send you two different sizes. So go ahead and grab the one that matches the one that you pulled out and put the new one on the inside right over that binding post. And then find another and put that on the other side of the binding post. You are totally able to pull that holster quite a bit apart. It won't hurt it at all. So now you got your two binding posts, two washers in place. Go ahead and push those through. And on top of these two posts is where you're going to mount your delta wing. If by chance you have a left-handed one, just unscrew this, put it onto the back side of this, and you would repeat the same, same steps for a lefty. So put that over there. And then here's where you're gonna take those colored washers that came off your holster, and you're gonna put them right on top of the delta wing there. And then in your kit, you have two different lengths of screws. Go ahead and just grab the one that is gonna fit best, one of the long ones here set it in place and go ahead and screw that down. Grab your other washer, set that in place, another screw and fasten that in place. Now our holsters all have adjustable retention and these two screws right here are where your retention adjusts. So this is gonna take a little bit of testing by yourself. Once that Delta wing is in place, you're gonna to wanna to put your gun in and test the retention back and forth. If it's too sloppy, tighten these down. Even just a half a turn will make a real big difference in the retention of that, uh, 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 retention of your gun when the Delta wing is in place. So you can do a half a turn, do a harder turn, test the gun again. If you decided to go with a wider washer, the taller one versus what was in there before, and the gun just is way too loose, you're gonna wanna take this off, take out the large ones and put the smaller one in. So we give you a lot of options. You can see I have a lot of hardware here sitting that's left over. That's just to cover you for all the different models that you might have that the Delta Wing's going on. You can attach this to any Eclipse holster.